DNA, our genes, our chromosomes, and everything else. These small things make up us and our entire existence. DNA is also known as deoxyribonucleic acid. In the 46 chromosomes found in DNA, we find the details for our eye and hair color, our physical quirks, and more. So let's take a look at an example. This man and this woman both have brown eyes. The chromosome that codes for this, however, can give them either brown or blue eyes. As this Punnett square will show us, if these two have a child, they could have either brown or blue eyes. It's all because of chromosomes and DNA, and the fact that chromosomes are passed along at birth. So now we know what this little double helix is, and how it makes up nearly every being on Earth, from you to your cat to your tomato plant. But could DNA have a greater purpose? What else could we use DNA for? Well, I mean, how about cloning? Okay, okay, I know what you're thinking. Cloning? That's fantasy. Talk about something real. But the amazing thing is, cloning is real. And the power of cloning has more than enough chances to affect all of us in the future. First, let's define cloning. Cloning is used to create clones, biological beings that have the exact same genetic makeup as another being of the same species. It's not hard to find an example of a clone. Identical twins are an example of naturally occurring cloning. Controlled cloning is a different story. Researchers usually clone by first taking a cell, most often from the skin, and placing the DNA from the cell into an egg cell that's had its nucleus removed. Cloning, while certainly not perfect, has been in practice for many years. As early as 1979, genetically identical mice had been successfully born by scientists. And in 1996, the famous Dolly the Sheep was the first animal cloned by using the method of placing an adult cell into an egg cell. Although it is highly unlikely that humans will ever be cloned, cloned animals can and likely will affect human life in their own way. Clones have the same genetic content, and this is useful in a variety of situations. For drug testing, this means that the results as tested on multiple cloned animals will be uniform, and in turn, provide more accurate data for us. In 2008, the FDA announced that milk and meat from cloned animals is as safe as if it were from natural animals. This means that with the power of cloning, we can recreate animals with desirable properties in agriculture, like a cow or goat with high milk production, or cows with lean meat. Simply put, cloning is one of the coolest things to come out of our genes. Literally. And needless to say, it will surely affect all of us in the near future.